What is going on y'all and welcome to the A-Ray Show. If it's your first time here, I'm A-Ray and my channel is all about investing, side hustles, and pretty much anything to do with making money. So if you're into all of that and you want to know more, stay tuned and hit the sub button. With that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the holidays. It's been definitely a crazy year and with everything that's going on, I definitely hope that you guys enjoy the holiday season and you guys stayed safe. And it's honestly crazy to think that 2020 is finally coming to an end. It's definitely been a crazy and unique year, but you know what? We're finally heading into 2021, so let's make that our year. So yeah, this video is going to be a little bit different from usual and the usual videos I make. I thought it would be fun if we as a channel set some goals for ourselves, the channel, and for our community in general and see how we do. In this video, I'll be talking about my personal financial and investing goals for myself and some goals for our channel. But before we get into that, please comment your goals and the things that you want to accomplish for 2021 and then you can come back a year from now and see how we both did. And with that, let's get right into it. Alright, so before we get into the more fun ones, let's talk about this one really quick. So my first goal, and this should be for anyone that's not making as much money as they believe they can or they believe they're capable of, and that is to increase their income and investments. And that's something that I want to do personally. Uh, and there's a few ways that you can do that. For example, through side hustles, being more productive, taking some classes that will help you get a nice side hustle or like a nice little job on the side. And I'm going to be trying to do all these type of things. For example, I've been investing in myself through college. Hopefully, I'll be done with my graduate degree in 2021 so I can join the workforce and increase my income. And I'll be the first one to say that if that all happens and if I'm able to graduate, which I'm on track for that for my MBA, then, oh God, this channel is about to be a whole lot of fun in 2021. So yeah, that first goal of investing into yourself or trying to make more money, that pretty much applies to anyone, especially if you're in that building stage of your life where you're looking for more income or looking for more opportunities. This is definitely something that any one of us can do. And comment below if this is something that you guys want to do investing into yourself. Another thing that I kind of want to do is work on my side hustle. For those of you guys that watch my channel, you guys know I like to invest into sneakers. You know that I go for the limited releases. And if I do end up getting them, I hold them in my basement and in my closet and just let it appreciate over time so I can sell it for a profit. That's something that I like to do. So that's one of my side hustles that I'm going to be working on in 2021. So with that, let's get into the next one. All right, so now things are getting a little bit more fun. So this is my dividend growth portfolio, and this is the portfolio that I want to lean on in order to retire at an early age. If you don't know what a dividend growth investing is or how this portfolio works, or if you don't know what dividends are in general, I'll leave a link to some of my videos that explain that. I'll leave it on the top or the bottom. I'll figure out how. But essentially... What dividend growth investing is, is the goal of it is to create a portfolio that creates cash flow through dividends so that you can live off the dividends. So ultimately, my goal is to get this portfolio to a certain number so that I can live off the dividends. But with that being said, my goal for 2021 is to get this portfolio to $10,000 by the end of the year, which is basically 5xing its current worth. So that might seem like it's impossible or not even close because my portfolio is only at 2000 but it all goes back to increasing my income. So previously, I've been putting about $50 a week and I've been doing this consistently through since I started this portfolio back in July until now. But I plan to increase that to $100 to $150 depending on my current situation in the future. But like I said, it all goes back to me creating more opportunities for myself through investing to myself. So pretty much just making more money so that I can invest more. But yeah, you know, once that happens, I can already tell things are going to start to get a little bit more spicy and this channel is going to become a lot more fun. So just to kind of piggyback off of dividends and dividend growth investing, one thing I want to do in the next year is to get my annual income through dividends to be a lot higher than it is. So right now it's currently at $48 and I haven't updated this for a few weeks now, so it's probably closer to $50. So essentially I'm making $50 every single year through my dividends. My third goal is to increase that number and that's going to happen naturally. Just when I invest more money into my dividend growth portfolio, that number of $50 is just going to get a lot higher every time I put more money into that portfolio. So my ultimate goal is to be able to live off of my dividends. But for 2021, my goal is that I want that number to be closer or as close as possible to $300 a year. 
getting $300 in dividends a year is definitely attainable, especially now that I'm looking to invest $10,000 this year. Hopefully I'll be able to do that. And you can see that I have a 2.59% yield on cost. So it's definitely attainable. One thing that I want to work towards, and it's not going to happen this year, it's going to be built up very slowly, is to get $1,000 in annual income through dividends. And it would be even cooler if I could do that every single month. But it's just definitely something that a lot of investors that do the strategy look forward to. But it's something that I'm going to be doing very slowly. It's going to be built up and we'll get there eventually. One other thing that I didn't mention was this website, Track Your Dividends, completely free. And I'm not sponsored by them, which would be dope if I was. But it's totally free and it's a pretty easy way to track your dividends. So I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a way to track your dividends. All right, so now we're going from the opposite side, from safe investing into dividends into something a little bit more aggressive and a lot more fun. And that is this new series that I'm going to be introducing to my channel. It's a zero to 100,000 challenge. And basically, for those of you that don't know about this challenge, you're basically starting from zero dollars. And I guess I kind of had a head start at like $5,000, $6,000. And you're going to try to grow that to $100,000 and then from there to a million dollars. So this is something that I'm going to be working on on my channel. And this is going to be something that I'm going to be doing quite a lot now into the year 2021. So long story short, and I'm going to be making a video on this, but I'm going to be trying to grow this portfolio as fast as I can and as aggressive as I can to make it reach $100,000 by the end of 2021. Who knows if we'll fail? We probably will. We got this odd stacked up on us. And if I could do that a long time ago, I would definitely be there by now. So I'm not the best penny stock investor, day trader, or whatever you want to call it. I'm horrible at that, but we're going to definitely try this challenge and hopefully it's going to be a lot more fun. So my goal for 2021 is to get this to $100,000 and we'll see if we get there or not, but it's definitely going to be tons of fun. All right, so this next investing goal is pretty interesting to me just because in the year of 2020, especially in the beginning, I didn't see myself investing into Bitcoin heavily. And now that I'm doing that, I kind of see that Bitcoin definitely does have a future. And for the year 2021, I want to keep averaging maybe 10 to $20 every single week and kind of just dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin as much as possible. My ultimate goal is to have like own one full share or one full Bitcoin, but I don't know if that's going to be possible, especially with the price just rapidly increasing every single time I, I put my money in there. But definitely will be investing to Bitcoin in 2021 more heavily than I am doing now. All right, so this is the last investing goal before we get into our goals for the channel and for our community. So this is my Acorns portfolio, and you can see I'm sitting at about $1,700. And if you guys have seen my video on Acorns, you know I invest about $20 every single week. And I've been doing that for a year now, so it's just been something I've been doing consistently over time. And for the sake of continuity, I'm just going to keep doing it and just kind of see how it performs in the long term. And honestly, it's been performing really well. You can see I'm at over 20% and I'm just going to keep leaving it, getting money in there and just watching it grow. I'm going to give it a goal for about 4000 by the end of 2021. I really like that roundup feature. It kind of helps me and it helps accelerate the goal and how much this portfolio can grow. So Acorns also holds my Roth IRA account and to be honest it's been performing at a pretty decent level but one of the cons about Acorns holding your Roth IRA is that it gives you a limited control about the stocks and the ETFs that you can invest in and you can see that I'm at 7.7% which isn't bad at all. But because all the trades you do inside at Roth aren't taxable I'd rather have it in a brokerage where I can control it and invest into whatever I want. So my goal is to get this Roth IRA for the early 2021 to get it to $1,000 so that I can transfer it from M1 Finance. And in order to transfer it to M1 Finance, you got to have at least $1,000 before you transfer it. So the reason why I want to do that is I want to be able to choose and invest in some of the ETFs I believe in. For example, I really believe in Kathy Woods and what she's doing with ARK Invest and their ETFs. They've been performing really well. So I definitely want to have some of that in my portfolio for my retirement account. So that's the goal for early 2021. I'm also going to make a video on Roth IRAs and their benefits and why you should invest into a Roth IRA and make those accounts. But it's definitely a goal that everyone can have and that's to max out your Roth IRA every single year. And the reason I haven't done it this year is first of all, I'm not making enough money to be able to put 6k into it like pretty easily. So that's the first reason. The second reason is I plan to retire before I'm 59 and a half, which is the earliest that I can actually withdraw this money without penalty in the first place. But it's definitely not my first priority, knowing that I'm going to try to retire before I'm 59 and a half. But yeah, it's definitely something I plan to do in the near future, especially after I transfer my Roth to my M1 Finance brokerage account. All right, so that's pretty much it for my financial and for my investing goals for 2021. Let's start getting to our channel goals for 2021. 
So my first goal is to get a thousand subscribers. And the reason I want to do that is not just because of getting monetized, but because I want to kind of build a community. And that's my ultimate goal for this channel. You know, I've been saying this since day one, everybody eats. It'd be really cool if we start a community where we're all holding each other accountable, investing together, investing to cool things and just kind of making money. It'd be so much fun. And a lot of you guys have already been hitting me up and we've been talking about acorns. We've been talking about certain stocks, dividends and things like that. And it's just kind of fun doing that. So my ultimate goal is to kind of build that community base where we're all investing together. And quick shout out to all 30 of you guys for subscribing to me. You guys always watch all my videos. You guys leave comments and likes and I greatly appreciate that. So yeah, my ultimate goal for 2021 is just to kind of build a community base. So that's the first one. Another one is I want to upload more consistently. So I'm doing one video every single week and I've been doing that ever since I started this channel. But I kind of want to bump that up to maybe two videos here and there every single week. And it's honestly, I'm getting a little bit better at editing. I'm getting better at recording videos, but it's definitely something that I want to do just because it's so much fun making videos and getting your guys' feedback. So I'm going to try bumping it up to hopefully two videos every single week in some point of 2021. All right, man. I don't even know what to say about this one, but I decided to make a TikTok. And to be honest, it's been pretty fun. It's like takes maybe 20 minutes to make one TikTok. I have tons of ideas, so it's not bad at all. And we're getting tons of views on there. So definitely check out my TikTok. It's another one of the goals I have for the channel. Is just, I guess maybe make a TikTok every few days. But it's pretty fun. Not going to lie. We're having tons of fun on there. So if you guys want to check that out, check that out. But it's something that I'm going to keep doing into 2021. And remember, consistency is key. So I'm just going to keep on doing it. And it's been pretty fun. So that's another goal for 2021. So with that, that's all I have for my goals for 2021. Guys, comment your goals for 2021. I'm super excited and interested to see what you guys have in store and in plan for 2021. 2020 was definitely a crazy year, and we're going to make 2021 our year. We're just going to keep on grinding, get our money up, not our funny up, you feel me? So just want to say one more thing before I end this video. I greatly appreciate you guys for commenting and liking. I really do appreciate it. When I make these videos, it takes tons of time. So when you guys like the video and give me good feedback, it definitely makes me feel good. And when I receive it, I definitely feel a lot better about making these videos. So definitely do appreciate you guys. Big shout out to you guys. Without you guys, there is no me. So I just wanted to say that. And guys, remember, 2021 is going to be our year. Make sure you guys hit me up if you have any questions or anything like that. Like I said, I want to build a community. So definitely do that. And with that, guys, remember everybody eats. See y'all in 2021.